Well, uh, let's uh, learn how to represent a MOSFET in a SPICE. And uh, you see that a MOSFET is a core terminal device. We have gate terminal, brain terminal, source terminal, and a bulk or body. And name of every MOSFET will start with letter M. So I am calling this MOSFET, for example, as M1. And uh, you can call it M2, M3, MA, MB, whatever. But the name will always start with letter M. And just like uh, in a diode and or a BJT, the statement uh, a, a MOSFET will be represented by two lines. One is where its connections are in the circuit. So you will start like this, M name, for example, M1. Bit, and it's drain terminal, then the gate terminal, then source, and then body, and then the model name where all the parameters will be uh, there. And because length and width or so called aspect ratio of MOSFET is also in the designer's hand, so you can specify length and the width as, as this. Yeah? So model name space L equals the value space w equals the value and then dot model the model name same model name will come here and if it is nmos then nmos and model parameters and if it is pmos then pmos and model parameters so let's uh, try to write a circuit file for a cmos inverter so if if this is the inverter that you see in your book and it's w and l are given both for PMOS and NMOS. This is symbol for PMOS with this uh, circle here, and this is for NMOS. And you, where is the source of PMOS? So source of PMOS is always near to VDD. So this terminal is source, and this source of NMOS is always at the lower potential. So this is the source for NMOS. Now, in order to write circuit file for this, I will basically name various nodes so well i have named it in and out and this node i am calling as bdd and this node by default is zero now if bdd is say 5 volt then what it means is basically i am connecting here a 5 volt voltage source so name of voltage source is also bdd and the positive node where it is connected is also bdd Similarly, I will apply my input voltage here. So, name of the input source is BN. It is connected between N and 0. I am naming this transistor PMOS as MP and this as LN. So, let's grab notepad and let's just start writing. First is command line CMOS inverter and let's try to find its VTC using a spice that is we will be doing dot DC analysis then there is a voltage source VN between node in and 0 sorry don't confuse 0 with O it will be you know disastrous so VN between in and 0 and its value is 0 for this moment and then there is power supply VDD between node VDD and 0 and its value is 5 volt and then there is transistor MP so a small and capital doesn't matter they both are same thing and if you recall for MOSFET order was drain gate source body so drain terminal of this MP is connected here here at out so drain then gate terminal is same as in so in and the source terminal the source is node this node that is vdd remember node name of this node is also vdd and this voltage source name is also vdd okay so mp is between out in vdd and because bulk connection is not given so we will assume that this means that this bulk is connected to the source so this means so bulk is also VDD and then it's W and L so L is equal to from here you can see it is 5 micrometer so micrometer U 5 U space W is equal to 25 micrometer B 
if you don't put u this means the length should be 5 meter so this will be you know a blunder 5 meter long mosfet mn second transistor and it is out its drain terminal is out gate is again in and source is zero for this ground and because bulk is not given this means body is also connected to the source that is zero and then the model name so i'm calling this as name of model as n mod or let us call it n mods okay okay so i forgot uh, i think your emos the model name of the mos emos and its name is given length is given as l is equal to 5 micrometer and w is given as 10 micrometer 10 so there are how many components this vdd source this green source and the not so there are four components four components here see the in between n and 0 and all these things so well okay so and next statement will be dot model statement for both for pmos and nmos so dot model and uh, model name so model name is also pmos and this transistor is of type pmos so pmos and then model parameters similarly dot model and nmos the model name and nmos for because this transistor is of type nmos and then model parameters remember initially we write so for example if this is p mod then you will have to write p mod name. these two always coincides okay the model name so model no name comes here okay. and these two could be same thing i mean if you want to name model name of p mos as p mos then it's okay and if you don't put any parameter then all the parameters will be taken as default okay file save and cmos underscore inv underscore vtc let's do its vtc analysis dot sp do not forget this and do not forget to change it to all files Okay, so let me do the DC analysis or let us postpone it to next video otherwise the size will be very high. So see you in the next video.